on the agenda today is full axle stalls. I need to be able to get both trucks up on the coping, ideally cross locked and then turn back in. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I have genuine concerns about the size of these ramps. They're only four feet wide. I don't know if that gives me enough room to maneuver up into and then out of this maneuver, this trick, this pose. I, I don't know what you want to call it, um, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll find out it doesn't work and it'll just give me an excuse that I got to go build an eight foot wide ramp somehow, maybe a three footer. We'll see. I'm toying around with that idea already. I, I need something a little bigger. I may just dismantle the uh, one and a half foot ramp, the 18 incher and uh, salvage it for parts and build a new one. I'm also pretty sure I'm gonna have to coat both these guys in skate light because uh, they're gonna need it. I think I just did it. Let's go check. Let's see it again in super slow motion. trying to cross lock. It is challenging. Right now I feel like my back truck is getting too far up onto the coping where I'm locking it with my back right wheel rather than my back left and my front right. So a little bit tricky right now but I can definitely do it on this ramp. I just got to keep working at it. So that's just awesome to know. So back at it. can't tell yet when I'm doing it if the rear trucks are actually you know one wheel on both sides of the coping actually on the coping or if my back left is just snug up right under the, the lower section of the coping and therefore it's really just those same sort of wannabe front axle stalls that I was doing so I'm trying to get a better sense of that I know when it's definitely locked in not locked in I know when it's definitely on the coping because it slides around a little bit, but uh, I, I don't know if when I'm gently in there and my wheel's locked and I'm stable, if I'm actually in or not. So I'll have to work on getting that feel. Back to it.
All done. Great session. I know that I got a lot in there that were actually 50-50 stalls and proof of concept, the four foot wide ramp is gonna work. So I'm gonna keep at it. And sometime over the summer, I will probably end up upgrading to a three footer to have a two and a three foot to be able to do, just do a little bit more. Right now, when I drop in off the 18 inch ramp, I don't really have enough oomph to get up the two foot ramp unless they're real close together, but then I don't have as much confidence on my foot placement. So right now, I am gonna stick with the ones I got, but I will be upgrading. And you know, the advice you guys gave me, everything just, uh, it's coming together. So thank you again. Have a good one.